going on guys it is december 6th 2023 it's wednesday um i got a short one here for you today we replaced the low water cutoff and we suspected a gas leak even though i really couldn't find anything but uh, i think we might do a follow-up to see if we can do a little bit further evaluation why i smell gas so heavy in this boiler room so um yeah go ahead and take a look so i smell gas as soon as i open this thing up i'm using the uh the Inficon gas mate, they were generous enough to send me this. Thank you, Inficon. Looks like it's coming in heavy right here at this union. So we're gonna soap that up. We might have to fix that too, but we got a new low water cutoff for it also. Um, we'll get that replaced. getting it once I come to this side of the fitting here is when I'm getting it right. Kenny's just went and got the soap bubbles it just came on let's turn it off Definitely smelled something. It might be something crazy minute, but it did pick it up. Although it could be picking up whatever residuals around here. Because, although I didn't get it from down here. I'm just, I just got it right here. We'll let that sit on there for a little while. Make sure we got enough on there. Sometimes they'll show themselves after they sit there for a while. All right. So this is our new low water cutoff here. It's this one here. I don't know why it's got two, but it does. It's very weird, but it does have two. Okay, see, this is the limit we're replacing. And we have a hot, a neutral, and then B, which is burner. Now, our new low water cutoff is significantly different. It's right here. So on this one, it says one and two is gonna be our hot and neutral. And then it says limit circuit, which is five. So that's gonna be our burner now. So our B is gonna to go to five and then our hot and neutral are gonna to go to one and two. And there's other stuff in here we could do, but um, we, don't, we don't have all that. We're just, we're just killing our, our burner when the low water cutoff opens. All right, there's our new low water cutoff wired up. We're about to test it out. Guys, I left out an important part of the directions earlier. We forgot to do a jumper wire between one and three. And whenever you're using same voltage, which basically means you're powering, um, you're using the same voltage for your switch and your power, you need to put this jumper in and I was wiring it the other way. So I had to put that jumper in and that works fine. Just fired up. We just gave one of the thermostats a call and it's coming on. Now I do kind of still smell gas, but I don't have any leak from here. I don't know where the devil this gas leaks coming from, but I guess we'll soap up a couple more things and see if we can find it with it running here. All right guys. And there we have it. We just installed the McDonald and Miller guard dog low water cutoff. Um, again, no idea why it has two of them, but it does. Maybe you guys uh, tell me down in the comments why you guys see two low water cutoffs. I mean, this one is a little bit lower than this one, so maybe that has something to do with it. Not sure. 
but this is um, 550,000 BTU well McLean, um, natural gas. So, all right, that's, that's it on this one. Yeah, guys, so tell me down in the comments why you think um, it has two low water cutoffs. Uh, maybe because it's two different styles. Um, it does two different things. Um, the low water cutoff we replaced actually kills high voltage power to the burner. And uh, the other one seems like it kills low voltage power to the, um, to the igniter board. So maybe that has something to do with it. Not sure. But um, if you guys know, let me down in, down in the comments. But um, that's it for this one, guys. So please give it a like um, and subscribe if you're new here. Uh, this is just a short one today um, because I'm most likely not going to do one tomorrow. Try to maybe get one out Friday, but uh, we'll see. So, all right, guys, catch you on the next one.